Hello everybody and welcome back to MJ Games. I am Michael. Now today I have a special treat as this is the first one I'm doing like this. Now I have reviewed a coaster or two from the PC version of Planet Coaster, but today what I'm doing is looking at an entire park. And the reason I'm doing this is this creator contacted me on Twitter and let me know that he wanted me to check out his park and I told him I was just starting to play on PC through GeForce Now which is a streaming service and so we're going to take a look at this park because I do want to show those of you who are like my wife and I that do not have the a computer with the processing capability of playing this game how we can ultimately play this game through a streaming service that um, allows us to play and play it pretty well. Now I will say the one thing is TMTK items. If you have a lot of TMTK items, that's where the game kind of starts bogging down and stuff um, and so forth. But now what I want to do is I want to read you the description of this park in terms of what this creator sent to me. Now this creator's name is Alexander Skyvander and the name of this park is Disneyland Paris Recreation. Now this took him about, um, in contact with uh, the creator on Twitter, um, you know, he said he only used about 10 TMTK items in here, but I still didn't download those just simply because of what it can do. And there's one time where I was looking at another park and I tried to download all the TMTK items. And what it did was it, it took forever, and then it really lagged down the game. And I know it was only 10 items, but I just didn't want to risk that part of it. And, um, yeah, so this park looks incredible. It took him about 2,000 hours to work on this. And so the creator told me that it is as close to um, the recreation as he could get. So I'm super excited to look at this. And now I have been to Disney World in Orlando. I've never been to Disney, um, Disneyland in Paris, so we'll kind of see how this looks. But as you can see, um, so I don't have any reference in terms of, oh, this looks realistic and so forth. I just know based off of the version that's in, um, in America. And so right away, kind of looking around, this is really, really well done. looks really pretty. And another thing I'll say is I'm still terrible with these controls. So please forgive me if... Um, if I'm not that uh, not that great with it. So as you can see, we're here at Disneyland. Sorry, I'm trying to it's kind of there we go. So as we enter the park and so I'm going to keep the park closed just for the sake of keeping the um, the frame rate and stuff. But yeah, I mean, all, so far the stuff looks pretty good. I mean, you can see the graphics still look good. Um, this is beautiful, just a beautiful entryway. And every once in a while, I might click on things to see how it's stuff created. But this is just really cool. And so if we look at the elevated view, we see here now that we have the kind of main street. And wow, look at that. With the castle in the background, fireworks going off. Really, really well done. This is super impressive. Um, just the time I can see why this took so many hours and a lot of research and especially when doing recreations I feel like you're constantly having to look at pictures and look at your phone and making sure that you're doing it right and um, That you're doing the park justice and so right as you come in you've got this kind of little carousel You got um, wonder. I mean just wonderful buildings. Oh, I love this little Sorry, I'm trying to yeah, I love this little um, little stairway right here. That is so cool, so well done. It's little details like that to me that just really makes stuff stand out. Um, this is this is phenomenal. Just can't say enough how how cool this is. It kind of feels like a town in like northeast United States too. Like this is like something you'd see like a main street. I feel like somewhere in the Massachusetts, Maine type area. Um, in the kind of New England area. I could be wrong about that though. But yeah, I mean, as you see, you've got a massive street right here. All, and the cool thing too is all these buildings are different, but yet they all still kind of make sense being put together, right? 
And so that's what's just really cool to me about, oops. See, I don't know sometimes what happens with the camera. Sometimes when I click on the scroll thing, it kind of, yeah, see, it takes me back to where we just were. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't understand with some of this stuff. So I'm learning. Um, now some of it could be, maybe I just don't have a good mouse. We'll see. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, this is fantastic. And oops. Yeah, so you see right there, you've got a lot of balloons. We've got just, once again, very unique style buildings. This is really, really well done. And like I said, I'm leaving the link to the Steam Workshop in the description below. But now you've got this wonderful castle here. And this looks similar to how it does at Disney World in that you've got kind of a, a little bit of a lake and stuff. But this is, this is really, really cool, really nice. Got the nice touch with the waterfalls on the side. Man, this is um, this is spectacular. I mean, there's no nothing else to say other than spectacular. So we're gonna go through here first, and then we will kind of circle our way back around. And now what I did was I went ahead and pre-recorded the um, POVs of the coasters, just to make sure that um, you know I got a good as good a frame rate and stuff as I could with it. But as you kind of see the walk through of this castle, really, really nice, really well done. See, I don't know why it all of a sudden takes me back there. So somebody, if you're watching this and you, you know why it's doing that, please let me know so I can correct it. Um, but yeah, this is, this is really fantastic. So then you come out here and, all right, that's annoying me how it does that. So. come out here and now you have this kind of back portion of the back portion of the park so I mean this is phenomenal just look how beautiful this is kind of with the attention to detail you've got the carousel you've got all these separate buildings I mean these are just amazing and I remember this area in Disney World in Orlando, they kind of had an area in the back of the park that was similar to this. They had like a Peter Pan ride, um, had the haunted the haunted house ride, but this is this is just amazing. So let's see what we've got here. So this is meet Mickey Mouse. Okay, that would be a quite a fun thing to do, especially for the kids. And so we've got all these different buildings and just. Fantastic. So now, what do we have here? Is this kind of like a little maze, essentially? All right, so I see we got some signs. Right here, almost there. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is like a little walkthrough maze that you created um, really well done looks really nice all right so now we got a flat ride over here that's got a nice nice ride skin to it so now let's kind of go back to one of the areas that we kind of missed when we first came in because this this area is really nice and as you can see um, it looks like we've got kind of the um, terrains kind of elevated in the back and so you just kind of built up some of the buildings to kind of mask that old mill. So if we go this way, so that's just kind of, okay, that just kind of loops back around. This will take us to Tomorrowland, I believe. And so now we got fantastic glasses. So this is, oh, you got a little um, ice cream place. I love the, love the kind of ice cream that you use there just to um, kind of represent support. So like the supports would be hidden inside of it. Really, really cool, really well done. So, uh, to be honest, I don't have any idea where I'm going. I think I know where I'm going, but we'll see. But this looks, I like how this is all shaded. Like, you can't see anything else in the park walking right here. You're kind of secluded. You don't know what's coming next. And I'm guessing this is, I don't know if it's called Tomorrowland in Disneyland Paris, um, because that's what it is in, 
what does that say? All right, so I'm guessing that's um, French, which I took French in college, but to be completely honest, I don't remember much of it. <laughs> um, I just took that because I wasn't allowed to take Spanish, essentially. Um, but yeah, that's, man, that's really cool. That's like a, um, from Star Wars, really cool. And so this is interesting, though, because if this is how Tomorrowland looks in um, Disney, Paris, it looks so different than it does in Disney World in Orlando. Like the Space Mountain looks different and so forth. So that's Space Mountain right there. So this is, this is very interesting. So yeah, so if you do the overview look, what we have here now is we have the, I still call it Tomorrowland. I, like I said, I don't know if that's actually what's called, but that's what it's called at Disney World. And so now this looks like this would be where you enter for Space Mountain. So this is a, man, that's a really cool kind of theming right here for the path. Wow, that's that's in, that's really cool, really impressive. So now, if we go in this way, like I said, I'm not great with these controls, so so bear with me. Yep. And so you come up, and then you've got the station, and it looks like oh, that okay. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting the all of a sudden you're above the station. That's really cool and really well done. And now you've got this part over here, which would be where the second coaster's at. Because if it's anything like the one in Disney, you've got two coasters. Now, obviously, these coasters look like a different style. But to me, I mean, this is, this is a really, really cool coaster station. Really well done. And so let's go ahead and let's look at the stats for the ride. Let me get the... Head back on the screen. So if you look at the stats, the results, the track length was about 4,000 feet, 58 miles per hour, biggest drop 39 feet, or yeah, 39 feet. So vertical G's look to be a little high, but overall, I mean, that kind of goes right in line with what Space Mountain is in real life. And so let's go ahead and ride the ride. All right, so what was your guys' thoughts of that coaster? I thought it was cool, and I think it's, you know, I, I feel like one thing they've got to get better about in this game, though, is if you want to make a dark ride that is totally in the dark, it's hard to really do that. But I feel like this creator did as good of a job as you can with that, especially if you ride it at night and be using those space panels. But, like, look at the out 
exterior of this right here. This is this is intense. So I'm trying to see. So 248 objects just for that area right there. So if we say edit that building piece, it looks like we have. Okay, so that's a rectangle. Locomotive track. Rectangular piece. Circle. I mean, just the detail on here is just incredible. Then you have this. Um, oh, that's the veranda roof piece. Wow, I was not expecting that. And then here on top, you have cylinder. So here you've got these rectangles. I mean, that just, that just, whew, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even talk about how, like, it just thinking about how long it took you just to do this is insane. And then if you go up here, so I can just imagine how long this, this took you to do that. So now all this stuff on the top here, you've got these rounded rings. I mean, that's a thousand pieces just for that. So that's, that is impressive. So let's make sure there's nothing that I missed over here. Is there anything in this building? I don't think there is, but I just want to make sure. No, so it just looks like, yeah, so it's just the facade, essentially. Oop. I mean, the detail is just incredible on this park, and you know, that's one thing that's just so cool to me about this game is it really brings out the creativity in everybody because everybody approaches the game differently. So everybody's got a different way that they see how this game or how they believe this game was meant to be played. And so to me, that's just such a cool concept of it. All right, so now we're gonna leave, actually, you know what, before we leave Tomorrowland, we're not actually gonna ride them, but let's go ahead and look over here as we've got a go-kart track. So as you can see, got a nice entry, it's real covered up, you got some other really nice scenery pieces, so nice touch. And this is a cool little station for the go-kart track. Like, I love this, that it's very open, and you've got these this very large kind of, um, roof to it that kind of makes it seem majestic in a way like you're really about to race for something and so if we elevate again to go and start looking at this track i mean really well done and then you use it looks like one of the pieces wall pieces from like the world's pack to kind of outline it really really well done really impressive yeah so now let's go look at this other area i'm trying to not keep this video too terribly long because I know from a algorithm standpoint, it's it's you know not many people like to sit here and watch a video for a long time. But now, as you can see here, let me actually let's go down here so we can. There we go. Sorry, I was trying to get down to the bridge. So Frontierland. So now we are in some familiar territory. So there's two different ways. What's this way? Okay, they both just lead out into Frontierland. And so it looks like this was another way to enter Frontierland. And very, very good use of the Western pieces here. Now this is, this is really cool to me that I've seen pictures of this, but how Disneyland Paris did their Thunder Mountain Railroad to me is just super cool, super iconic. Um, the fact that you've kind of got it just over this lake is amazing. And so that's, that's really, really cool. And so I wonder, is this, I guess I'll have to, let me check and see. So let me get the HUD off the screen. 560 objects, let's say edit scenery piece. Okay, so that's one individual rock. Yeah, so there's there's a lot of rocks being placed on on here and that is, that's insane. So 
let's go ahead and test the ride so we can kind of see how it looks running. So right away you can kind of see just the theming here and how detailed it is and this is really really well done. So you can see the coaster coming up the lift hill. Yeah, I mean that's just that's just a beautiful view right there. You've got the, the castle in the background. Really, really well done. And so now let's go ahead and ride this coaster. And I'll talk to you guys afterwards. All right, so what were you guys' thoughts of that? I thought it was really well done. I thought it was good, it was fun. Um, you know, it was a long ride. You had your three lift chains. Look at the water effects over here. I mean, that's fantastic. Um, we'll go back and look at the entrance area for Thunder Mountain Railroad in a second. But you know, here you've got the, is this an actual ride or is this just kind of the scenery of it? So you got your haunted house area. That is this going to be? Yeah, so it just looks like it's it's kind of just scenery pieces. But either way, really cool looking area. You've got the haunted house. And once again, I just love how this lake looks. I mean, this to me looks fantastic. And you got that river boat. This is just beautiful. Really well done. So now, oops, sorry, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go back this way. As I said, I'm still getting used to some of these controls. So now here we can see the entrance. And so at the end of the ride too, you see how it kind of comes up that 
kind of hill or lift chain at the end. So really, really well done. Let's see, I'm trying to see if we can look in the station. Yeah, the detail here is really nice as well. So you've got your entrance, we've got our exit here, and as you exit out, you exit out to this lake and these rocks and just that beauty. Really, really well done. So now we've got one more major area in the park to visit, and it looks like we've got a nice um, uh, Mexican or Hispanic style kind of little restaurant area selling burritos so now if we go this way we come to an area that they don't have at Disney World this is called well I guess they do have Adventureland it just looks differently at Disney World because they don't have this coaster that's over here and so as you can see really cool building and this really does kind of now kind of feel like you're in a jungle because of the tree style you chose to use. It's all really, really green trees. And then we've got the adventure style um, skins for some of the toilets and different stuff. And now we've got another coaster. It looks like this would be like a Gerschlauer coaster, whether it's Infinity or Bar Heist, I forgot. Um, but we'll see in a second. But now Indiana Jones. So really great work with the sign. Really well done. I mean, spe especially doing signs take definitely take some time to create in this game. So now, as you can see, so that's probably the exit. So here's the entrance queue. Let's kind of go this way. Oh, that's pretty cool. Those ruined steps right there. So it looks like that would be the fast pass, yep. And now here's the coaster. Okay, so no, I was, I was, wow, I was way off. Um, this was not the Gerslauer. This is the, what's it called? The Indiana Jones ride, but it's the, where does it say the name on here? I'm so used to on console where they say the name of the ride. It's that... Whatever that um, mine train coaster is that swings and spins. But yeah, so as you can see, really detailed station, um, very high. Maybe the only thing I would say is since you've got these sticking down, put some more supports across the top that connects to these. Because to me, that looks just a little bit strange with those just sticking down like that.
Let's go ahead and move on. What was your guys' thoughts? Out of the three coasters in this park, let me go ahead and exit out of this. Which one was your favorite and why? So then it looks like here, is there a ride? No, so this is just kind of another kind of scenic area. And so this is basically the park, guys. So really, like I said, really excited to show you guys this park and show you what the computer can handle. And here's another amazing thing. My computer is not heated up at all. I can touch the bottom of my computer. It's, it's running perfectly fine. And so... For anybody who does want to play this game or Planet Zoo, which I believe we will be making some Planet Zoo content at some point, um, whether it's me or my wife or both of us, we definitely will um, dive into that some. But, you know, really look at getting GeForce now. It costs, um, costs $10 a month to be a member. And as you can see, to me, this is totally worth it. I mean, look at... It might lag a little bit at times, but look how massive this park is. He said this took him 2,000 hours to make. So it's a massive park. The detail is just insane with all these buildings. And so, you know, it, it would be nice to be able to use more TMTK, which I haven't really tried too much of it. Um, but I think this is totally worth it to be able to play this game on just a normal PC. And so I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. What did you guys like about this park? What was your favorite part? For those of you that have been to Disneyland Paris, how does this compare? And I put the link to the park and the Frontier Workshop below. I've also put the link to this creator's Twitter account so you can go follow him on Twitter. And as always, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.